Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats and today I'm going to show you how to make sang choy bao or kind of stuffed Chinese lettuce cups. Um, they're a really delicious dish, they're so quick to make, really healthy and it just smells amazing already, these spices and sauces, so I say we get to it. These are the ingredients we're going to need. One cup of shredded Chinese cabbage, I've used Wombok cabbage. Two large or three small Swiss brown mushrooms. I've just chopped these really fine into little cubes. Uh, you can use any mushroom, but I like this type for this one. Two water chestnuts that I've just drained from a tin and chopped finely. Half a brown onion, chopped finely. So for the sauce, you're going to need two tablespoons of soy sauce, two and a half tablespoons of oyster sauce, one large garlic clove minced or crushed, one teaspoon of fresh ginger minced or crushed, whichever you like. One teaspoon of corn flour. One to two tablespoons of water, depending on how saucy you like your sauce. One teaspoon of sesame oil. Two tablespoons of mirin or a Chinese cooking wine. One teaspoon of sugar. One tablespoon of peanut oil. 400 grams of pork mince. And then for our little lettuce cups, we need a full iceberg lettuce that we're just gonna pull the inner leaves out of and they're gonna be our little cups or bowls for serving. And then some roasted peanuts and, to serve and some chili if you want chili, all the things. Okay, it's really easy. Basically, you just need your frying pan and all your ingredients. It's so straightforward. We're gonna start by heating up our peanut oil and browning our onions. Now add the garlic and ginger and cook for about one minute until it becomes aromatic. You will smell it, it's delicious. Then add your pork mince, cook on high for about two to three minutes until it's all white and cooked through. So once our pork's been cooking for about a minute, when it's still slightly pink, we're going to add all of our vegetables and cook for another three to four minutes on high heat until it's all softened. So while our meat and vegetables are frying, we're going to make our sauce. Put your corn flour into a small bowl and then we're going to add one tablespoon of water and mix it until there are no lumps. This is going to help thicken our sauce. Once you've mixed the cornstarch and water together, we're going to add our mirin or cooking wine. Then we're going to add our sesame oil, our sugar, soy sauce, and oyster sauce. So after about two to three minutes of cooking our mince, we're going to add our sauce we've just made and let it cook for another minute or two minutes on high until the sauce becomes nice and glossy. As you can see, the sauce is very watery. Once you cook it for about a minute or two on high, it should get nice and thick. This is because of the cornstarch or the corn flour. Okay guys, so that's how you make my sang choy bao. Um, this is usually served as an entree, but you can just have it as it is. Now, um, we're probably gonna get about four to six leaves out of, out of this, and I recommend using the inner leaves of the lettuce, because the large ones, like this, can get a bit flimsy and a bit too much. Um, a quick way that you can do this, actually, to get these ones without breaking the leaves, is going to the base of the lettuce, pinching the white bit off and tearing the leaf off. And then look, you get perfect little balls from it. <laughs> perfect little lettuce balls, how cute are they? So yeah, it's a bit better than having the 
wonky bowl like that. Pro tip from Elise. You want this. You can have this, but this. Flavia, let's eat. Many excites. All of the excites. All of the excites. You can have a big one. Thank you. A piece. So what is, the, what is the optimal like amount that I should put in? Well, see, the way that I like to do it is put maybe like two or three heat teaspoons, like a quarter cup of the mixture. And then I actually like to fold it up a little bit, like yeah. kind of like a burrito. Burrito. Chinese lettuce burrito. What I always like to put as well on top is just some peanuts. Um, and if you like chili, then you can put some chili too. Mm. Just grab a few and put some on there, put sprinkle the, the top. Gives a little bit of crunch. Charles. Right. Cheers. And you'll notice. Mm. Oh my God. The little crunch inside of that, the kind of weird crunch is the water chestnut. They actually maintain their crunch even when they're cooked. And they're really good. They and, oh my God. Stupid. Oh my God, this is amazing. Mm. She's never had this. And I'm like, you have not lived. I haven't. Mm. I've only just started living now. Oh, ah. my. Oh. No! <laughs> Wrap it in another leaf. No leaf. <laughs> Do not put that on there. A leaf. No. <laughs> Dap me. <laughs> it you. It me. Hey, hey guys, guys thanks, thanks for watching, watching this video. video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment in the section below so that we can make something you've always wanted to eat. Because I love it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Preferably anime or something TV related or something like that or something awesome game related.